welcome back. Um, I'm so happy that you have joined me on this journey of these seven days of the rodeo themed tumblers. Um, I hope they're all making sense. I hope you're enjoying the style and the, the techniques that I'm bringing to you. But this one today is really special to me because this is bringing you some designs from my gorgeous, amazing friend, Mallory Pagnotta. Um, Made by Manny and Mal is her channel and everything that she does is amazing. I got asked by her to be an affiliate of her digital designs and I cannot tell you how honored I was. Um, it really meant a lot to me because these are designs that she works very hard on. She definitely has her pulse on what is new and cool and hip and fire as the kids say these days. Um, which I, as an old lady, do not understand, but I, I do know that I absolutely love this design, and this was so much fun. Absolutely, when I saw this, I knew that this had to go into my rodeo-themed tumblers. She had asked me about a month ago, and it actually worked out because I was just in the mix of, like, what else can I do? And I got this. I went on her website, and I saw it, and immediately was like, oh, my gosh, this is absolutely going in to my rodeo-themed tumblers. So... Anyways, this one was a lot of fun. This one to me, like back in the day when I would go country dancing, if they had Trulies, this would have gone with me everywhere. Um, I would have taken this with me everywhere to all of the events. Anyways, <laughs> back in the back in the day, back in the day. So this was a lot of fun. Um, this glitter you will might remember from something else that we did. Um, it was a mix that I made, but um, I really had a lot of fun with this one. They bring a really fun aspect to um, your design, um, just being that kind of small scale and you can kind of do something really big. And so that's why I wanted to bring in this metallic paper, this holographic and um, bring in this glitter and just really have a lot of fun. With it. Anyways, this is this one was um, one of the funnest ones that I did. And I'm so happy to introduce Mallory and show kind of the cool designs that she can do. Not kind of. She, she does design very cool things, and um, I'm excited to be a part of her journey. So anyways, uh, please enjoy the video and come back from two more, three more, something like that. Anyways, let's get started. Hello, welcome back. So what we're going to do here today is work on this amazing little tumbler that I put together using a Mallory Pagnotta's disco cowgirl themed uh, de de uh, digital designs that she has on her website. I started off with um, some glitter glue. Uh, I just wasn't working with epoxy at this time when I was doing these two little uh, tumblers. And so I was just using, I was like, I can just use crystallite glitter glue. It's not my favorite, but it worked out fine. So once I got all of that on there, I used the same mix that whenever we did that rose, um, beautiful, whatever one, the, the one where it was kind of like a peekaboo, but it was the vinyl. Anyways, it's like a really cool pinky kind of white. And I knew I was going to be dealing with a little bit of pink in this design. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to bring that back and use it. And it was very sparkly. And that's what I really needed something really sparkly underneath this uh, water slide wrap that I was going to do later on. And once I got all of that uh, glitter on there, I just kind of rolled it around just to kind of make sure that it was either flattened or that, um, I was getting all of the whole tumbler covered in the glitter. I did end up sealing this. I didn't record it since I, I always always record it. But um, anyways, I did seal this with some glitter glue. And then I went in with coats of epoxy. I did do two coats here because I wanted to make sure that I had a really nice smooth surface for our water slide that we were going to put on after this. So I did just measure the top to bottom and all around this tumbler just to make sure that I had the right dimensions. Um, it is a little bit different than like a, a skinny. So I mean, a, you know, like a 20 ounce skinny or something. So I just made sure that it fit all around the uh, 
all around the side there and then all the way on the top. Now, once again, I'm using this amazing water slide paper that I was sent, but I'm also using the Plasti Dip. So I was thinking, okay, we're definitely going to flip this around and we are going to do it this way because this to me has the best results with this Plasti Dip. Um, but the print quality was once again, very good. Um, I just kind of took this and just slowly rubbed it in all around the tumbler at the best I could. Um, this is obviously not something that I would prefer how to pref that I would prefer to do it. But since that Plasti Dip was so much different than what I'm used to, I just went ahead and this is the way that I felt like it was the best way to do it. But um, the black print on this was just really nice um, and everything just to me all the little colors just really came through um, I did have a little bit of an issue with the back side um, just because of you know water slides being water slides and the just the way that we had to put it on because of that plasti dip and just it's just a really different feel and um, anyways I was able to get some of it, but the bottom part I wasn't able to. And so I just ended up just thinking, okay, I can just put um, a line down the back of this and, and we'll be good to go. After I kind of gave up on the back side there, I just went around and really did a nice um, smoothing out of everything. There was a few bubbles there just probably from the way that we had to apply it. But um, other than that, um, I just kind of popped a few bubbles and just made sure that we were getting, um, you know, that it was wet and that I was pushing out any kind of bubbles there and uh, before we let it dry. Obviously, I let that dry really well, uh, pretty much, I think, 24 hours. Um, I was able to go in with a coat of epoxy, and um, no big deal. We are going to fix up these little edges. There's there, nothing a pinstripe can't help, you know, uh, but in, in make it look absolutely complete. So I just went in with a coat of epoxy here. I did the same thing. I just kind of pushed it over the edge and was going to clean that up once I got done there. So this was me um, trying to, I was like, you know what, I don't really feel like getting the Cricut out and it's probably going to cut it crazy anyway, just a square, but a rectangle. So I just used my, I just used a little bit of this pink, uh, like iridescent vinyl that I had. And um, I just cut off a little strip and um, used it for the backside there to kind of cover it up. Maybe I should have cut it a little bit smaller, but it was okay. I was okay with it. Uh, I had had a different plan in the beginning. I was going to use a stripe, like a wavy line, because it was Mallory, and she loves wavy lines. And so I was going to do that, but then that vinyl didn't do right. And uh, anyways, so this was my final resort. But I love the pink, and it matched up with everything else, so it, it went really well. So I did an offset of this design and I cut it out in this holographic vinyl um, that I had and it really had this kind of neat little squared off look and I thought it was going to add a little bit more to this holographic printable vinyl that I was using um, for the decal itself. So in order to clean up all of the edges, I just went around with the this real I had cut a bunch of this a long time ago and I had it sitting in the drawer. So I just um, took some out and put it all around the edges there and um, the the top and the bottom just to kind of cover up any of those rough edges with the 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 water slide. Um, I think it was because it was just it was so stark with the black and then into that pinky white that we were using. And so I think that was why just adding just that little touch just kind of finished off the edges. So once um that once I got all of that done, I went in with a coat of a Mod Podge and I made sure that we were going up and down all the way to, from the bottom to the top kind of thing to get all of this sealed in before we went in with our coats of epoxy. I made sure I cleaned up that top rim there. I don't want a bunch of Mod Podge to get dried up on there. So I did do that. And then I went in with my coats of epoxy. 
I think that I need to do um, some more sanding on this and put another coat of epoxy. But pretty much after this, the design was done. Everything was done. I just need to finish this up for um, so that we can use it every day. And that's it. We're done with this wonderful design. It's so cute. I Mallory just knocked it out of the park with this one. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love all the little details. Um, this one, the combo of this um, was just amazing and it was so much fun. I really am so glad that I was able to be a part of her journey and bring this design to you guys and put it in with my rodeo theme. I mean, it's like, how could you get any more perfect with the, this? Um, and the colors too are so much fun. Cactus, again, can't go wrong. Anyways, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.